Hey gang, uh, Rick here, back at the uh, Fultz Bailey Railroad. Um, if you've been following the channel, you have seen the saga <laughs> that's been going on with my airbrush. So, <clears throat> just to give you a quick recap, uh, my airbrush gun, or the one, the uh, gravity-fed one, um, was having an issue with the trigger where I would push the trigger to get air. And even though I let go, the button would have stayed in. I did a video on that and got some very good suggestions. Um, and you guys helped me clear that up. Apparently a little Vaseline on the trigger, um, helped that to lubricate well enough that now it goes up and down. Uh, so after I got that fixed, I started airbrushing again and, uh, in the process of airbrushing, uh, my little compressor, uh, stopped working and it stopped working in a weird way. Um, I was sitting there brushing one day, uh, spraying paint and then all of a sudden I wasn't getting any, any, no pressure, no air, no nothing. And I looked down at the little unit that sits on the floor and it was, it was vibrating. So I knew it was on, but I wasn't getting any pressure. And it turned out what was happening this here, this here is uh, the compressor that I use. <clears throat> What's happening is the motor in the back was running. It was spinning. That spins a shaft that makes a piston in here go up and down, which creates your air pressure. Well, that was that wasn't functioning. I wasn't getting that noise of that going up and down, but the motor was spinning. So I immediately sent an email over to the uh makers of the uh compressor and asked them what do I do? Um I then went and looked up the uh warranty information and it turns out I was one week past warranty it was bought if you remember it was a gift from my wife last december uh for christmas and i was one week past warranty so as i'm waiting to hear back from these people um about uh, getting this thing fixed i thought to myself let me try and see if i can fix it because at this point i wasn't really thinking that i was going to get it repaired so I'm going to have a whole new, a whole other video on uh, how I took this thing apart, how I fixed it, and how there there's another issue that I can't fix. Um, in the meantime, what I did is I went out, because I had to get the airbrushing done, right? Um, so I I went to my pancake compressor, which is in the, in the train room. It's a big three-gallon uh, pancake compressor, and I fired that thing up. And I got a long 25 foot hose and I hooked that up and I ran that back to the, uh, the workbench and the compressor was staying on. It wasn't, it wasn't kicking off and I couldn't figure out why. So I went in to take a look and it turns out that the drain valve that's on the bottom, I'll show you a picture of it right here. Uh, the drain valve on the bottom had, uh, rusted out and, uh, it, it wasn't, it was the valve wasn't closing so it was just leaking air out and it wouldn't allow the uh the compressor to shut off because it wasn't getting to pressure so i ran down to to i looked all over home depot lowe's all the you know big names even online amazon no, nobody had one that i could get fairly quickly so i figured i'm going to run down to harbor freight and i'm just going to get me a new compressor so that's exactly what i did i ran down there and uh, they had a, a nice little compressor uh, on sale. So I picked up this guy. It's the Fortress One Pound. It's supposed to be ultra quiet uh, compressor. I have not opened it uh, out of the box yet. I will do that for you in another video. Um, and so I picked that up and as I was walking out of the store, I saw a whole big rack of all air compressor accessories and tools and parts. And I found the valve that I needed. So I picked the valve up. It was like, I don't know, $4 or 59 cents, something like that. And I brought it home and I was able to get that into the big pancake compressor. And sure enough, that fixed that issue. So I was able to continue doing the work that I needed to do using the big guy. 
Uh, in the meantime, my plans were to leave that guy in there and use it when I was in there, although it's really, really loud. So I was kind of like, didn't really want to do that, but um, <clears throat> that was my only option. So um, then I get an email back from the guys over at uh, TCP Global. Um, and the gentleman asked me a couple questions about the compressor. I answered those questions. Uh, no sooner did I send off the email with the questions, just a few moments later, I got an email back saying, Mr. Bailey, we appreciate you being a customer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace your, <coughs> your unit under warranty. And I'm like, great, awesome. I'm going to get another compressor. That's sweet. So then, uh, you know, a couple days go by. I hadn't heard anything from, from, from the people. And then all of a sudden... I get a package in the mail that I wasn't expecting, and this arrived. Now, if you notice, this is very similar to the one that I had before, except there's the compressor, and this one has an attached tank to it. So, upgrade. Now, I know what all, I know what you guys are. You, you've all said it before, and you'll probably continue to say it. My airbrush is, uh, the name on the airbrush is Master Airbrush. Master Airbrush is a brand name that is owned by TCP Global. TCP Global is the one that I contacted to get the replacement. All of you guys say, it's cheap stuff, don't worry about it, toss it out, get a new one. Well, at this point, I had no hassle, no fuss, no muss with getting this replacement these guys right now have my respect. I will continue to be a customer and I will continue to buy their stuff. So as long as I, I mean, I, I, I can't complain of the way that I was treated. I mean, it was, it was amazing. Uh, can I verify that their stuff is crap or whether it's good? I don't know. I don't airbrush that much to say. Uh, but the fact that my compressor died and my airbrush had an issue, take that into account that I got my, compressor replaced for free outside of my warranty window i don't know one half of the other i don't know take it take it for what it's worth so um i'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more videos one of the unboxing of this new compressor and one of the unboxing of the bigger compressor so look for those to come as always real riders let's ride these rails together catch you later